then there's this one here. Wow, double bass bl uh, bass blues. This one is by Rudy Gutierrez. He's an award-winning writer, story of a jazz musician. Pop, wow, bang. <sighs> great, great illustrations. Musical, magical, just incredible. I love this book. Different kind of application for story time, but lap sitting, let's get to it. This is double bass. Bass, rather, blues. I said that twice. <laughs> Not the fish. Okay, I love Moon Rabbit. What I love about story, story time, about picture books in general, is that they can take themes, in this case, looking for a friend, and, and make it accessible to, to little people. Here's a story of a little rabbit who's perfectly content to live in the big city. But she's lonely, and one day she's out at, and, and she falls asleep under a tree, and she wakes up and realizes it's night, and she hears music. And she follows the music and discovers that there's somebody out there who has similar interests and likes doing the things that she likes to do. But she has to go back to the city, and she's sad, but not quite as sad as she was before, because now she's made a friend, and her friend is on his way back to the city. I love the resolution of this story, but I love the fact that a picture book can help you bridge this desire, this need, this want uh, that you, you might possibly have in this world. Adam Rex, two books, Psst, and how this book was made. I love his illustrations. This one is wonderful about a little girl who goes off to a zoo and all the, the zoo critters have a need. The gorilla needs a tire. And she's wandering around the zoo and another critter says, Psst. And uh, the warthog needs trash cans. And she's making her way around the zoo. Psst. Penguins need paint, on and on. How it resolves, well, I think I'll show you. The creatures, the critters, the animals, all want to get an escape vehicle together, and they put all those things that they asked her for into a, a vehicle there, and zoom, off they go. I love this guy's artwork so much that I wanted to share the second one with you really quick. This one is how this book was made. And what's really cool about this one, it talks about how a book is made. It's fun, it's cheeky. Um, and of course, it doesn't take all these critters and people to make a book. But in this story, most certainly, most certainly dead. How various people, including pirates, got in the way of getting this book into your hands. I want to get this book into your hands. I really like this guy, Adam Rex. Now, Stephen Gamel and Liz Rosenberg did this book called Monster Mama. Again, talking about themes, you know, we're, we're, we're given the families we're, we're given. And, you know, other people may see us differently. This little boy has a real monster for a mama. He loves this. He loves his mama. And he just does anything and everything you know, that, that she asks. Well, one day these three boys pick on him. And they chase him and they tie him to a tree. How horrible. And they're being very threatening and nasty. But then they say something terrible about his mother. And he's not going to stand for that chases them and monster mama comes to the rescue but what's interesting about it is she takes them home and they eat a great amount of dessert and they find out that these people who are supposedly so much different really aren't it's a loving story a boy and mama and how some people go about making new friends monster mama New shoes. There's nothing more thrilling than getting new shoes when you're a kid, especially when the old ones are worn out. I love this opening bit. This is by Chris uh, Rushka. I love the 
the watercolor wash on this. It's very rich. Mommy is going to put my new shoes. It's going to put my shoes on me. He he. Mommy puts on my socks. Mommy puts on my old shoes. They have a hole here and a hole there. Well, I think when you have those holes, it's time to go get seriously get yourself some new shoes. And this is the story of a little little person who's getting a chance to break in and play in those new shoes. This is a lot of fun. It's a very sweet book, very accessible, very simple to work your way through. And you know, again, for those days when you're bringing something new into your life, you can always start off with talking about new shoes. This one's a lot of fun. It's really kooky. It's called The Perilous Pit. You know, sometimes we do things, uh, the simplest little smallest things that we never would think would have any kind of repercussion. This one uh, is by uh, Orel Odinoff Pro Proto Popsicu, and it's illustrated by Jacqueline Kwask. Kwask. Again, some days you're just out and about. And you're minding your own business and you throw your peach pit over your shoulder. Uh, shouldn't, shouldn't litter. But then that peach pit causes nothing but problems. From whales to, to waves to the Air Force coming and boats galore to rescue this little boy. I would never in my wildest dreams think that a peach pit could cause as much of a ruckus, but it's fun. Pick it up. It's important to smile. Augustus and his smile. You know, sometimes we think that we lose things, and then we go off and try to find them. Catherine Rayner in this book has this tiger waking up one morning and wondering where his smile went to. The colors in this book, the pen and ink and uh, it looks it kind of looks like paint like the airbrush tigers on a journey to find his smile looks and looks and looks do you think in the end he's gonna find that smile I think he did this is gorgeous and don't forget to smile